I think that, um, you know, if we, if we look at the kind of, and I, I talked about this yesterday when I got a question about social media, you know, the kind of license or permission that has been given for that kind of what I would call really irresponsible rhetoric. Um, I think it's I, I think it's very disturbing, you know. Um, however, it is consistent with what is happening south of the border. Um, the language is is borrowed from uh, from the election campaign south of the border, and uh, I think that it's it's indicative of a style of campaigning. You know, it's a it's a style of campaigning that's angry, that's divisive, that is about slogans and bumper stickers and um, and angry division more than it is about responsible decision making, principled policies that uh, that are going to uh, be able to be implemented and are going to help people. So I think it's you know I think it's a very I think it's a very disturbing trend here in uh, in Ontario and I think I think we all need to pay to pay close attention to it it's unfortunate that uh, that those kinds of things are, are happening on this campaign and you know mr. Ford is uh, going to have to deal with his uh, supporters uh, in a way that uh, uh, that uh, that I, I hope that brings some respect uh, to the uh, the political dialogue and discussion. This is a very important time for Ontario. People have a very important decision uh, to make, uh, and we're excited uh, about having a very positive campaign, a hopeful campaign, a message that says it's not about um, you know choosing, uh, as I say, from bad, uh, bad or worse, but uh, it doesn't have to be uh, a negative uh, campaign that's 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 uh, full of anger and uh, uh, and and and. And that kind of negative language. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in that. I, 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 let, let me be very. Let me be very clear. I'm. I'm. I don't condone that. Simple as that.